job in. So we go to save jobs. I want to do right now a quick fold 32. So that's already highlighted. We check it. Yes, we're sure we want to load it. So once we load it, we have to start the machine for the rollers to move. So the plates are now moving. But you can tell the rollers are moving by the blue boxes here and by this yellow box. Once this yellow turns green, then we're ready to go. Go to our second section. And we see we have a couple more rollers that have to get to where they're going. This shows that the fold plates are completed moving. This shows that the rollers are still moving. All the white boxes here. Go back to the first unit. That's our feeder. Should go green here any second. There you go. Now I got to change my slitter shaft. We move our knives away so we can take the shafts out. So Jim, maybe explain what you've got set up here already on the table. So what I have here, I have uh, two sets of slitter shafts. This is for our 16 page, which is what we're gonna do after we do our quick fold 32. These two are set up, we put them in and they're all ready to go. So if a customer has a repeat job, uh, this would be something they could set up and never change. They just need a pair of slitter shafts, set the collars and the, and the tools up. Correct. And they're good to go as long as that job is used, they can always use this. As long as it's printed in the same spot all the time, it's just a matter of moving the guy just a little bit, but it's a whole lot easier to do that than always change the shafts out. Okay. Knives in. We gotta put our strippers on. <clears throat> Otherwise, the paper will wrap around the shaft.
person's in place. Everything's ready to go. First sheet. Turn off our quality control. Now our eight page runs. So now you're setting up what, pressing unit? Yes. See, a little lip right there. We can take care of that really quick by doing this. So we go here once again. Remove our purse strippers. So I'll make a couple of comments while Jim's pulling that off. Um, notice the second fold unit did not have to move. Uh, we're also not reaching over the back of the machine anymore. Uh, the slitter shaft cassette allows that to happen from this side in a comfortable position. It's also a fairly good working height. <clears throat> There's one tool that works for uh, all the uh, number four screws millimeter. and... Four millimeter? Yep, yeah, number four millimeter, all the collars and, and basically things that require a cap screw, a number four millimeter uh, does that. So this, what he's taking out was the, uh, was a quick fold perf, perf pattern we had set up and a score pattern for a quick fold 32 and now we pre-made, let's take a look at that before you jam it in there. So this we, is the bottom shaft with the anvil knife. Oops, of course. We, um, this was preset, by, yep. right? And now you can keep this for forever, right? As yep. long as you have this job, you can keep this set up. Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna show you the, where the, we have the setup. Um, little wooden yolks holding the shaft pairs together and you can do this in the shop anytime. We're doing a 16 page so we're perfing right after the first fold. So you still had to move the anvils in place where the blades were um, yeah, just, just a second ago. Just because uh, when I take the shaft out, the shaft happened this way. Yeah. So I can't move it there that way with because the blade is on this side of the Yeah, you don't anvil. want to ding the blade. Right? right, so move this over, everything stays in place. I see. 
<clears throat> so you don't lose your position. So on that sliver shaft cassette, is there a way for you to tell where you are in the world? Is it there's scale? There's scale right here. And where the two scales meet, this is your center, center point. Got I it. have this knife right dead center of the machine. And that's why you describe you set the paper in center then. Correct. Okay. And we would change the thickness oh. of what's coming out of the first unit and put it in here. So that'll be two sheets. We're folding in half in the first unit. And there's a liver on the other side also to change that paper. Uh, closed up the slitter shaft cassette. Uh, we're ready to reconfigure the machine. So here we roll the, you're rolling the 16 page in place because the original, that quick fold 32 only used two sections. So they boot up automatically. You didn't have to do anything to get that process started. Right. Once you plug them in, it automatically recognizes them being plugged in. So now we went from a, a two-section setup to a three-section. Uh, this will be a um, what is that? Up, up, down type fold for a uh, up, 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 up. Yeah. Sorry, up, up, up fold for a regular forward, sixteen page. Very standard in America, right? That's this is correct. A, this is the common one. We're almost fully booted up. Now, in order for our 16-page to configure now, then we have to sort the machine. Once again, the roll is in. So we have a couple of yellow boxes here, so something is still moving. Third unit now, before rolling on these two, we've got a third unit now, and the rollers in this unit are, are moving, so everything else is complete. Got one more roll that has to be in place. There we go. Now we got a green light. Now we should be able to run a piece. 